Hello and welcome to this presentation. You are going to be learning the six newly added features to Protas Total 2026 version. And for us to learn these features properly, we are going to be considering this reinforced concrete structure and as well as uh, this steel structure. If this is your first time coming across our channel soft freezing, consider subscribing to stay connected with us, like the video and as well share this video. So let's start from the first new feature. So I will navigate to the file menu provision right here and the reset file. So we are going to be using this project so I can properly explain this new feature for your understanding. So stick to this video till the very end. All right, so here is the structure we'll be using and then the first new feature, which is not in the previous version 325 is staircase modeling loading analysis and design so we'll look at that in this video so i want to select this particular stair and then delete it from here to model it i have to move the green lines to the topmost story and then i navigate to the plan view so i can model it properly so at the plan view i navigate to this stair right here click on it you have three options to model the stair okay by area and then by you know using the diagonal picking two points this point and this point and then by picking four points so we use the first option so we just pick inside of this provisions and then the steer window will open you have to select the type of steer you wish to actually uh design so i want to design this u shape i'll pick on that so modeling steer case you have to pick at the grid lines uh uh intersections so i pick that first point along the grid i pick the uh second point right here pick the third point and then i move my hand towards the directions to pick the last point right here so once you finished it it will be placed in 3d so you can use the right the right mouse button to actually orbit it right around just like this so if this is not proper by you, you can adjust the geometry of the steer from these provisions i can make uh the steer i can make this steer uh width to be 950 i think this is good by me all right so once you are okay with the geometry you come to the loading so from here you see the dead load you can click here and choose from the existing dead load for the sake of this presentation we use 2.38 kN per square meter so for the life load i will consider this to be a residential structure so i'll use 1.5 kN per square meters as the life load after which click on the ok option so the steer is inserted so you can navigate to the 3d to actually see the steer in which you design all right so this is the first new feature so to run the analysis of this model it's pretty pretty simple okay so you can just save the model first navigate to the analysis tab click on the building analysis and then you come to these provisions you have to check the model click on start to check it everything is good click on the closed option building analysis so i want to design i want to analyze and design so i will check these provisions i click on the building analysis so let's watch Prota. 26 version analyze this model and design successfully just like this so everything is good i click on the close option from here so you have to now proceed to carry out the design of this tier after analyzing the model so i will navigate to the design provision right there and click on the staircase design option so you have this so you can see the statute from here not designed yet so you click on this beam design bash mode option so it is designed now so you can see that the statute has passed if you want to see the detail you click on this design option from here so you can see the detail from here and then you look at the u ratio all right so everything is good you can see the detail calculation through these provisions the detail report right here for the steer design just like this so everything is good all right so this is the first new uh future added to protest structure 2026 i want to show to you we'll look at the drawing later okay i'll close this window we are done with this tier all right so now the second feature is mesh property so there is 
a feature that was not in the previous version 2025 added to 2026 called mesh property. For instance, if I select any of the structural element like the reinforced concrete column, over here you can see mesh property and you apply this new feature. So to apply it, for instance, now I have this beam here. The depth of this beam is 2 to 5 by 450 from the info box right there. And this particular one is 2 to 5 by 300. So if you want to, I want to make this one to be 2 to 5 by 450 section what i will do i will use the mesh property so i will select this particular one which is the source section and i click on the mesh property and then all of this can be applied i click on the ok option and i select the target sections just like this and enter on the keyboard but this will nullify the analysis you can see so i click on the yes option and it is applied so that is how to apply the mesh property okay now we are done with that the third new feature is a feature called sub base beam sub base beam that is the third new feature okay so how do you get sub base beam you have to navigate to the st0 to be able to have access to sub base beam so when you are at st0 right here and then you navigate to the modeling tab right here on that beam right here if you select it you see we have foundation beam and then we have sub base beam all right but if you are at the st1 which is the topmost story and then you come over here you see another different thing you can see so this is a normal beam and work of plane beam all right so to apply this sub base beam which is the new feature you have to come to the st0 right here so now this is the sub base beam as you can see from here i've already applied it okay so now if it, i try to delete these beams from here just like this once you apply this sub base beam it takes its position all right it takes its position just like this so the position of this beam is basically a position where we will call DPC, all right, damp proof membrane level, all right. So now, the difference between this sub base beam and the foundation beam is its position and where it is being placed. For the foundation beam, if you select on this foundation beam and pick this same point, it will also take its position, which is the bottom constraint of the reinforced concrete column. And this is used to design the strip footing. So you can see the strip footing option is pop up now so you can be able to design strip footing so if you don't have this beam which is the foundation beam you cannot be able to design the strip footing i believe that is understood so we have done the three of the new uh the new uh features added to let me get back to this added to proto structure version 2025 all right so i will reanalyze this structure again and design it so you can see the drawing but at first the other two features i need to open another project that we used to explain it properly from the file menu right here i'll go to this project this project uh, design of steel portal frame i'll click on that project i'll click on yes option to save this particular one and then this other project will open just like this for us so now that the project has opened just like this if i navigate to the 3d of this project so here is the project okay so after you have done the analysis and design you need to provide what we call pedestal so the new future we are going to be looking at which is the fit uh, the fit one is the pedestal so proto structure have given us an automatic pedestal so for instance if i select on this i've modeled this i've loaded this model successfully so once you select on the column you have the future i call insert pedestal all right so this a new feature is it is not in the previous version 325 okay so now you must be at the bottom constraint or the st0 level to be able to have that feature all right if you're at this level you won't be able to get it okay take note i select on the column i want to apply the future so before you run analysis ensure you applied it is very very important so i click insert all right so so you can see it is automatically inserted so this is the new feature which is the uh, fit one all right so let's try to insert it for all the columns so what i will do i will select all the steel stanchion from here i'll select the first one hold the control key from here all right and then select these other stanchions just like this and then after which i proceed and click on it and it will be inserted just like this i select on this last one and insert it as well so once you're done you proceed to run the analysis so let's see the analysis of this structure mind you this structure has been loaded 
already okay we'll have a video that will explain all of that subsequently so if you have not yet subscribed to this channel so free subscribe so you stay connected okay i click on the building analysis from here so i go straight away to the analysis tab i have to check this model if there's any error i have no error for now click on the closed option building analysis from here and then i want to actually uh, analyze okay and design as well so i will check these options just like this so i click on the building analysis options so let's just watch this program analyze this, this structure successfully so let's give it some time so this particular version is quite very smart it's actually a game changer all right it's a very nice uh improvement okay so from what we have here the drift uh issues as actually satisfied successfully in both directions i click on the closed options and then we are good the analysis is done so now we are, that you have done with the analysis of the structure and then you have to make sure you optimize the sections okay before we go into the last which is the sixth uh which is the sixth feature that i've discovered there may be there may be other ones you understand okay but the one i've discovered is this six for now subsequently you may discover more okay so you have to make sure you optimize the section so once you are done with optimizing the section the six feature goes by moving the gray line to to the bottom constraint of the stanchion as well so i will double click right here to get here so you can see my gray line right there so now i will just have to select on the column and then you see the option insert base plate so the sixth feature is this base plate all right it was not in the previous version 2025 all right so just click on it once now and then you have a window comes up so this window will help you to set the geometry of the base plate and the anchor board navigating through all of these tabs to make sure that you have done your setting successfully so once you are done with your setting you have to check whether this has passed or not okay so now from here you see this as file if i use this two okay if i use the two and then i go by this three options from here i'm still having some failure so if you have failure just like this what you just need to do is to come over to this uh base plate provisions and be able to make changes to the size of the plate the thickness of the plate so you should be able to know where it is failing what is failing you can see like here i have anchor share check okay as also giving us a warning right here so you need to, to also correct all of those wordings successfully before you proceed so this particular interface help you to properly design your base plate okay but we'll throw more light on it in the next video so i'll just select one of these for instance i click on the ok options and then you have it inserted this is after the base plate has been properly designed and then the, de the design calculation is good okay so this is how to insert the base plate and this is the uh the sixth uh the sixth new feature so i want to insert it on other ones i will just select on it I select on all of these columns just like this just like this select on this and that okay and then click on the insert options and the window will also pop up how we use this particular one this time around but ensure before you click on the okay it has passed all the requirement based on the code that we are using okay so now it is inserted successfully all right so this is the sixth feature now let's see the capability of the prota uh uh, of the protas steel okay so now to move to protas steel you have to make sure that you optimize all your structural elements okay so after which you go to the drawings and report and then click on the protas steel so once you click on the protas steel it just give it some time and it will load this whole model into proto uh, steel where you can now start to do your connections design like the uh steel beams to column connection so here we go this is protest steel and if you zoom closely you can see that none of the board are there you know because we did not properly design it if you properly design it all will be appear right here okay so that is how it works so this is just like to show you how these new features operates okay so here we go protest steel is effective you click on close yes option from here we get back to the protest total 2026 version now i want us to produce the detailed drawing of this tier so we we'll open the other project okay so from here i open this project again yes option to save this particular one 
okay so here is the project you know we nullify the analysis okay so we need to run our analysis again if we come to the analysis window it's nullified already click right here and then i proceed to click on the analysis then building analysis so i want to actually analyze and design so i have to check all of these provisions click on the building analysis give the program just of seconds to carry out this analysis and design of this whole model mind you if your staircase is not properly designed this analysis will be terminated if your staircase is not properly model this analysis will be terminated okay so we are good click on the close option so everything is good you have to check and optimize your b member the column member as well as the foundation before you start to produce your drawings but for the sake of this uh project we just want to see the detail of the staircase so let's check the staircase again the design and then come to these provisions i click on this tier design option so you can see we still have it passed and i click here to reject it again and then i checked it from here everything is good from here and then you can print the detail report or summary of the report click on the ok options and close this for now so i want to be launching the proto detail from here just click on it once then you have to save this model after we click on it once so you give it some time to actually load successfully just like this so this actually load automatically okay but sometimes it can show you the windows where you have to pick and then place uh, the members successfully so from here you can see the detailed uh, steer right here the reinforcement are well arranged and detailed so you just do some few things to make it presentable put it in your title block so you can see how effective this new version of a uh, proto structure is successfully all right i'll click right there and close this so at this point we have been able to look at the six new features i have actually uh, seen in proto structure 20 26 the first one is the steer design the second one is the mash property the third one is the sub base beam and then the fourth one is the pedestal you have the pedestal right there and then we also have the sub base wall we have also the uh, base plate which we explained successfully okay consider subscribing if you are yet to subscribe to our channel soft reason we we'll bring more details on this particular software on how to use it properly for a commercial and residential structural analysis loading and design successfully okay so we we'll see in the next presentation as we will be stopping here have a great day and bye for now